Hey guys, David Harris here, and we're gonna play around with Dee. She's 12 weeks old now, and uh, you know we're just having a little fun out here. Love training on unique surfaces. So, took a couple of minutes to teach her to jump up on her crate, rewarding her with food. This is a mentally and physically tough puppy, but it really separates a, you know the type of puppy you have from other puppies just by working on unique surfaces. A slippery picnic table, a hard plastic picnic table, that's a great surface to train on. And when you see your puppy's upset about that, it tells a lot about the genetics, the mental hardness of your puppy. And it'll help you adjust your training as you go forward. But socializing a dog to unique surfaces so that they work up here the same as they would on the floor or in the grass, it's really important to do. Right, Dee? <laughs> So once again, she's 12 weeks old, picked up quite a few behaviors already. Shake hands, bark on command, roll over, and clearly works nice off a surface. I love using the edge of a surface, like a caranda bed or a picnic table, to work on behaviors like a sit stay. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just slowly backing away from her. She stays, click, marks the behavior, says, yes, you're doing it right, come back with the food. If she gets off the, the surface, I just put her back. No click, no reward, start over. And pretty soon I can walk completely out of the picture and the dog stays behind. So I can do sit stays, I can do down stays, I can get her to walk around on this weird surface, which also helps neurologically the development of the puppy. Everybody knows puppies are born blind, no hearing, but they do have a sense of touch and they develop from the front back, okay? So puppies, when they're born, they can smell. So they can smell their food. They're attracted to heat. Neurologically, puppies develop from the front to the back. Everybody's noticed a, a puppy at, say, 10 or 12 weeks old that can jump towards the couch but not manage the jump. Their front feet make it. Their back feet don't make it. It's because their brain's not communicating well with their back feet. So an exercise like this where she's having to manage where her feet are sends signals from her body up into her brain, stimulates her brain and helps her develop better body control as she matures. So I love working on unique surfaces. It's not a very big crate and she's a pretty good sized girl. She's having to figure out how to manage her feet and that stress activates parts of the brain and helps them grow and develop. So there's a lot of fun training can be done up on a unique surface. Sit stays, down stays, really good stuff can happen on a bed. So we're shooting some video of D and just having some fun with D, but we're also learning. And that's really important to watch other trainers, see what other trainers are doing, always pick up some unique tips and habits and have fun. Because like exercise, if it's not fun, you're not going to do it. If dog training is not fun, you're not going to do it. I look forward to working with a puppy like this because it's fun. And I'm always looking for something new and unique to do that keeps it fresh and keeps it fun for me and for the dog. That's it, D. Very good. You're a good girl. Are you smart? Bark. We can work on a sit up as well. So as long as the surface is, she's capable of doing a sit up, you can use this surface. And it really helps a dog not want to lean too far forward because they're going to fall off. One of the real common problems I see with people who are training their puppy to sit up is they're letting the dog lay on their hand, lean into the hand. There's no way a puppy's going to learn to balance if it's laying on your hand. And, and you can't see it in the video, but she's barely touching my hand. And the reason is simple, she doesn't trust my hand to keep her from falling off. So she's having to use her core strength to hold that position, not balance off of my hand. So it's a good little technique just for practicing on a crate. So once again, just a little fun video of D. Let's get her off there for a minute, okay. So the release command, really important if a dog doesn't know when to quit. They just pick up their own signal for quitting. So Dee's got great targeting, clearly. She's on my hand, good. Crate's always a distraction for her because I've spent six weeks teaching her to love her crate, but she's focused on me. Comes nicely into the hill position. Has really nice body control. So I love that, that she can reposition herself nicely. 
just stepping over. This is such a simple, fun exercise to do. Once again, body control and awareness. Anything on the ground might be interesting. I just move away and convince her that that was not a good move. Come on, swing. And just practicing all of the behaviors. Healing, sits, down, stays, and focus. Nice. Come. Sit. Good, come. Try to get a little straighter one, sit. Good, and then back to the heel position. Don't forget to practice both directions. You wanna go left and right. So for us, when we go left, that's swing. When we go to the right, that's heel. So foot in both hands. Step back with your right foot, heel. Step forward with your other foot and catch her right there. So once again, D's 12 weeks old, patient, confident, willing to please, progressing very nicely. Happy with this girl. So that's just a little more fun training tips. Master trainer David Harris here with D, the Wonder Dog.